Right, find the rate of change of the surface area of a sphere when the volume is decreasing at the rate of 4 centimetres cubed per second and the radius is 2.5 centimetres. So here we have a sphere with a radius r. The volume of a sphere is 4 third pi r cubed and the surface area s of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Now we require ds by dt when r is equal to 2.5. Rate of change of the surface area s uh, when the radius is 2.5 centimetres. So ds dt will be ds dr which we can get from here times dr by dt. We'll call that equation 1. So s will be equal to 4 pi r squared. If we differentiate that we're going to get 8 pi r, bring the 2 down the front. So we've got that bit but we haven't got this bit so however we will need to find dr by dt. How can we find dr by dt? Well we've got something about the volume so let's have a look at the volume. The volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed, let's differentiate that so that gives me dv by dr. So three, the threes will cancel out, we're left with 4 pi r squared. And we also know that dv by dt, the rate of change of the volume, is decreasing. So it's minus 4 centimetres cubed per second because the volume is decreasing. So we could say that dv by dt is equal to dv by dr. Pause the video now to see what you would actually add in here. Well, that would be what we're trying to find, which is dr by dt. And we have this one, we have this one, so we have to calculate this one. So dv by dt, we know to be minus 4. dv by dr is 4 pi r squared from here, times dv dr by dt. That gives that dr by dt will be minus 4 over 4 pi r squared, the 4s will cancel out, so we're left with dr, dt is minus pi r squared. So we now have this from here, and we now have this, so we can now substitute it in here to find the rate of change of the surface area. So substitute all that into 1. We have ds dt is equal to 8 pi r times minus 1 over pi r squared. The pi r will cancel out and we're just left with 8. So we end up with a differential equation for the rate of change of the surface area with time to be minus 8 over r. This is a differential equation. We require ds dt when r is equal to 2.5. So we're going to have the SDT is equal to minus 8 over 2.5, which gives me minus 3.2 centimeters squared per second. Okay, so this is a video to show you how to use a connected rate of change in order to come up with a differential equation for surface area of a sphere, rate of change of the surface area of a sphere uh, using the volume and the surface area. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.